Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look. This look was inspired by the look Makeup by Mario created on Ariana Grande for her No Tears Left to Cry music video. And I wanted to recreate it because, well, I mean, I liked it. And two, I feel like it's a wearable glam look. It's nothing too crazy or out of the box. I feel like you could wear this like for a night out, a special event, prom is coming up. You could wear this for that. Um, and yeah, I really wanted to do a celebrity inspired look because I feel like nobody really does them that much anymore on YouTube. I feel like that was like a big thing at some point in the old school YouTube, but I felt like doing something different today and just wanted a little break from spring looks. So I decided to recreate this look. So if you want to see how I got it, then just keep on watching. I already kind of filled in my eyebrows. Um, hers are more straight, which is what I like, but I usually make mine more elongated. I didn't finish them yet. I still have to um, set them and everything later on. Sorry, my allergies are like so mad this week, but yeah, and I already primed my eyes with some concealer, so we're going to jump right into the eye makeup first. Now, it looks like Mario didn't do like a lot of crease work on the eyes. It was more focused on the lid shade and the wing, um, which is kind of like her signature look, I guess you would say, um, more focused on the lid, but so I'm pretty much going to use only like two maybe two shadows in the crease and I'm actually going to go in with the ColourPop and Makeup Shayla palette because I just need to use this right now and I'm going to take the shade Culture which is just a light neutral brown. This is a Morphe M504 and I'm just going to start dusting that into the crease. So, my backdrop may look a little wrinkly, but let me tell you, I was supposed to film yesterday, so I set everything up, I started steaming this backdrop, I'm not even kidding, probably there for an hour, and the wrinkles were just not coming out. I switched steamers, um, I guess it's just the material, so I was like, you know what, I'll just let it hang all night all day and all night and film tomorrow I'll just steam it again in the morning but by then it should be fine I steamed it again and I I just I don't know I can't get them all out and it's driving me insane but I wanted to film today and I'm not gonna let a little backdrop ruin my filming day that I've been trying to film all week and I feel like things just kept happening so yeah, if it's bothering you, I understand. Now I'm going to actually take the KKW and Makeup by Mario palette. Honestly, any colors that you have that are similar, just use those. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade. It's just a slight deeper than the last shade I used. But again, it's like a neutral, slightly warm brown. And this is in the shade Miami. And I'm taking that on a MAC 217. So I am going to kind of carve out my lid, even though this isn't really a cut crease. Um, just because I feel like Ariana has a bigger lid. Like, she looks like she has a lot of lid space. You know, the lid space we all want. Um, so I'm kind of just going to give the illusion of a bigger lid by carving out my lid. And this will also make the lid colors pop. How many times did I say lid? I'm just going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to carve out my lid. And I'm using this small, um, this is actually a concealer brush from Real Techniques, but I like it I like to use it to carve out my lid or any small detailing that I need to do. This is a great brush for that. You don't want to go in with too much concealer. I have a habit sometimes of just throwing a bunch on at once, but you really want to start out with a small amount of product because you could always build it up more, but you can't take product away. And what I like to do is I'll start 
um, towards the bottom of my lid and then work my way up to the crease because then there's less product on my brush because I don't want to throw a bunch of concealer into my crease because that would be a mess. For the lid shade, I'm kind of going to do like a mixture of from two different scenes um, I'll insert pictures so you know what I'm talking about but in the video like when she's on the stairs um, there's only one scene when she's on the stairs right <laughs> yeah when she's on the stairs she has like a slight glitter shimmery eye but then that other scene which Mario posted a clip on his Instagram her eyes are super glittery and I saw a comment by him saying that he just mixed a bunch of random glitters he doesn't even really know what he used to do that but I'm kind of gonna do like an in-between glittery and but not overly glittery so it can kind of still be wearable if you're looking for this type of look um so I'm first gonna go in with this shade from the Makeup by Mario and KKW palette, which is called, uh, I always mix them up, 2008. Um, it's just like a super shimmery, champagne-y, I guess you would say, but definitely more cool tone kind of shade. But any like light shimmery shade will do. Now this part is optional you can keep the lid with just this lid color but I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter so I'm gonna use the Stila glitter and glow I think I'm just gonna use the shade diamond dust maybe mix mix a little mix maybe mix a little bit of smoky storm in but I'm actually just going to instead of swiping this directly on I'm just gonna take that brush again that I cleaned and just take some off the brush and then I'm just gonna tap it on just like that then I feel like it's not overly glittery of course you can add a lot more glitter if you want I'm just kind of doing it an in-between look just to cater to different people Now we're gonna do the wing. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit nervous. I used to be that girl that could not go a single day without a wing. I didn't care what eye makeup I was wearing. I didn't care how good my eyeshadow looked. I needed to wear wing liner or I just did not feel like me. And I feel like over the past year, year and a half, two years, I just, I don't know, I only wear a wing once in a while. I I kind of grew out of it so obviously this is an Ariana Grande look so we have to do a wing um, I'm not gonna lie I'm probably gonna be out of frame while doing this so I'll be back with the wing in five hours and I am using the Inglot gel liner in number 77 you can tell this is my fave eyeliner Feel free to use a liquid or felt tip liner, whatever you have, whatever is easiest for you. I prefer gel liners and I love this one because once you put it on, it is not going anywhere, which is also terrifying because once you have this on, if you mess up, that's it. For mascara today, I'm going to go in with the Benefit Mad Gal Bang Mascara. Mascara. I am going to do lashes today, but I'm going to do them a little bit later on just because, like I said, my allergies are driving me insane and I feel like they're probably going to make my eyes water, so I'm going to wait till later to do that. And we're just going to move on to the face right now, so I'm going to prime my skin with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the hydrating one. Then I'm going to fill in my pores with the Tarte, I almost said Shape Tape, the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. Then I'll just press it into the skin where I have pores, which is my cheeks. This for foundation today, I think I'm going to use my Lancome Tante Adult Ultra Wear. Um, mine is in the shade 420 Bisque. Although I do have dry skin and this is more of a matte 
finish. I feel like this is a good matte foundation for dry skin because personally it doesn't um, bring out my dry patches or anything like that or make my skin feel dry. To me it feels very lightweight and I also think it looks better throughout the day. So this is definitely always my um, like go-to summer foundation when I do need a little bit more of a matte finish and something that's long wearing. And a lot of the times, like if I do want my skin to still look radiant because I do have dry skin, um, I'll just mix a more luminous foundation in with it. Before I go in with concealer, I'm gonna go in with my Hard Candy Instant Eye Fix just to brighten up the under eye a little bit and help depuff the under eye. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to conceal and highlight my skin. I really have been loving the KKW concealer, but I try not to use it that often just because it doesn't have as much product in it, so I don't want to go through it too quickly. So I'm just gonna use this today. So I kind of just went in and added a little bit of cream contour because I almost forgot to do this on my nose because she has a shorter, more button nose compared to my nose, so I do need to contour it a little bit, but now I'm just gonna go in and blend the concealer out. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powders to set the areas I just concealed and do a little bit of baking. I'm just going to press that powder in, what's left of it, and kind of dust the extra away, but I like to press it into the skin first. For bronzer today, I am going to go in with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. She did look like she had a little bit of a bronze or a contour going on, but nothing too harsh. For highlighter today, I am going to do a little bit of a mixture. I'm first going to go in with the Milani Dago Strobe Light highlighting powder. Um, I like this one because you can get a really natural looking highlight. So I like to use this and use this more on my forehead and stuff because it's not so like glittery and it doesn't pop out as much. But then I will go in and highlight a little bit more with another powder. So I'm first going to take this one on my ColourPop small fluff brush. I mean this brush kind of makes everything a little bit more intense I almost just fell off my chair um but you are able to go in light-handed with this if you don't want a lot of highlighter also gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and um Reezy highlighter on my little fan brush just to make it pop a little bit more she looked pretty highlighted so she did have some glitter liner right next to her wing liner so I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metals in the shade Distortion um, first to kind of get the line where I want it to be I'm also gonna take that same Stila shadow again and just put some on the back of my hand and then go in with that Urban Decay brush and just pick some up with this because the Urban Decay one is kind of like a glitter glue, um, so it'll just stick better. I just threw on a pair of wispy lashes. You can use the Ardell ones, the um, Kiss ones, any drugstore demi wispy lash will do. Um, she didn't have like any dramatic lashes on. She normally doesn't. I know she normally wears more of a wispy lash, so that's easy. They're easy to throw on, so just choose any wispy lash that you have, or you can just wear mascara. That's totally fine, too. We're going to move on to lips, and she had definitely more of like a nude lip and then a gloss for that glittery part. Um, you know, I don't know what lip I want to wear today. I have a bunch here. First, gonna go in with the NYX Suede Lip Liner in the shade London. It's just a nice nude lip liner. And Ariana has 
fuller lips than I do, so I am going to overline them a little bit today. I'm going to take the Kylie Cosmetics Commando Liquid Lipstick first. Then I'm going to go in with Less Cuddle from Dose of Colors. Just added a little bit of ColourPop BFF3 pencil to darken it up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now for gloss, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop... Um, ultra glossy lip in the shade my little pony or no it's not in the shade my little pony it's from their my little pony line in the shade flutter valley just because it's a super glittery gloss you can use any glittery gloss um there's also the color pop and ellery gloss that has glitter in it the new makeup shayla one has glitter in it um so you have a lot of options i'm not a huge gloss person but i really like the color pop ones if i am going to wear a gloss because I feel like they last a little bit longer on the lips than a lot of a lot of other glosses do for me. I also just wanted to mention just in case you're wondering I did leave the um, lower lash line bare because that's what she normally does sometimes she does throw in a black liner in the waterline. I didn't really see one. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I don't think I will add black liner in the waterline either way just because I want my eyes to look more open and more rounded like hers. And sometimes when I add black liner it can kind of make my eyes look more closed and smaller. But yeah, I will be right back and I'm gonna go, you know, transform myself into No Tears, Left to Cry, Ariana. So, I know nothing about wigs, so don't judge me or her. Don't judge us. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really like the way it turned out because I feel like I can wear this look when I want to be extra, but it's still not too crazy or over the top and it was pretty easy to do. Like I said, you can wear this to prom if you wanted. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I had fun recreating this look. If you like this look, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below maybe telling me what other celebrity look you would like to see. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the little notification bell. I feel like there are so many things you just have to do before you leave this video. No pressure, but that is pretty much it. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. This is a look that Mario, oh, I forgot what I was about to say.